What a beautiful life it is, my friends. My post-exam break begins today. Now, you will have noticed that the last time we played was in Tartarus with one boss fight. Uh, I just tried that boss fight, I recorded it, and it went like shit. It didn't work. Like, I actually cannot do it right now. At all. Because the party members I have... Just cannot fucking deal with it. I could bring Junpei, but basically what happens is this the guy does mind charge and then Mazionga, so everybody gets fucking electrocuted. The only two people that don't die is me and Akihiko. And then uh, Akihiko can keep striking him, but he missed like five times in a row for no reason, just the game saying, fuck you. Um, so Akihiko met, uh, Yukari and Mitsuru died. And it was just me and Akihiko. The dude started fucking spamming poison and strike attacks at us. And we died. Like, at one point I was like not even trying anymore. It's like, okay, I just want just kill it. Just end my life now so we can keep on moving. So I can start my post-exam break now and forget about that terrible boss fight. Just like every fucking boss fight in this game, it's always shit. There's no real challenge to it. It's just like, do you have the right equipment for it? No. Well, you can go fuck yourself. Okay, now, there's one thing I've been meaning to do for a while. To play the MMORPG that Junpei gave me. That's how I want to spend the whole week. Spring, the year 2000XX. You have one message. From Phil. Hey Phil, reality is just a series of events and players acting out what they believe is real. When we accept that effect, our world becomes reality. Reality is but a reflection of our thoughts and expectations. But what if we were merely reflections in another's mirror? Are you prepared to look through that mirror to discover the truth? Inside Lunar Vale Hospital, there are one players in the area. A reporter approaches. Sub, XD, ASL, oh wait, are you a noob? You are, huh? Oh wow, you haven't even finished generating your character yet. Welcome to the game, to that game. Good thing I'm using my low level alt. I think it's just you and me. This kind of a this is kind of a dead MMO these days. XD. It's not popular anymore. Yeah, people don't really like Persona 2. Sorry, I got kind of OOC there. We are supposed to be in our alternate selves, right? Uh, yeah. Out of character, she meant. So, what are you gonna call your character? We can meet up later. Um, hey, I got a good name for you, cat fucking face. How about Tatsuya? Ah, <laughs> that's good, Imo. I'll change mine to Maya, okay? Have a little deja vu? I don't get it. Figures, it's been a while. <laughs> I played that game so much in college. Oops! Hope you can't figure out how, how old I am, Ruffle. Anyway, I'm just, I, I'm usually idling here of my days off. So if you're bored, maybe we can level together. It sucks to be lonely. You meet a new character online who uses a character named Person. Also Maya. <gasps> Oh! A mysterious voice rings in my head. Could this be? Is it happening? Is it for real? Thou shalt have our blessing when thou choosest to create a persona of the Hermit Arcana. Hermit. Get it? Because I stay at home all fucking day. Yay! Cool. Sorry, gotta go. Remember, let's think positive. Tresto. XD. Oh, well. Wait. Oh. I was having such a good time playing online with my buddies. My online buddies. Already? I spent all day playing. Your tip to Toyagushima begins today and lasts for four days and three nights. It's time for you to get ready. Oh. Well, I'm sorry, Maya. We'll come back to you soon enough. Whoa, dude, Yagushima's crazy. He's got like boats in it. Ah, awesome. There it is. Yakushima. Oh, dear. What is it? What are you people so fucking antsy about? I don't get it. Oh, finally, some fucking change of pace. My god. <sighs> wow. 
It's like we're in an episode of Lifestyles of the Rich and Fabulous. Well, I mean, Mature is rich and fabulous, so. Oh no. Oh no. One of those. Welcome back, milady. 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 And you must be her schoolmates, correct? Yes. Welcome to the Kirijo vacation home. Get fucked. Please follow me. Um, is this the right place? I mean, it, it's, they said Kirijo, so of course. Dude, real life maids. Get fucked. I knew she was from an important family, but this definitely confirms. I mean, we all knew about this. What do you mean confirms it? It was more than confirm. Who's this? Papa Mitsuru? Oh my god! What is what the fuck is this? It's good to see you. Really? Oh wow, we have one asshole dad. I guess that's like a running theme. Was that her father? He's missing an eye, so you know he's badass. Talk about scary. I know. He's not gonna make us walk the plank, is he? Oh get I keep saying that. Don't be stupid. The, 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 these these uh, holidays are not starting out great. <laughs> we won't be here long, but make yourself at home. I mean, it's four days, more than enough. Sweet, sweet, rock. rock. Hey, you wanna go to the <laughs> beach? It's right there. <laughs> What's his problem? Why is he talking like this now? Dude, this place rules. Come on, let's go. What happened to this voice actor? Did he fucking eat meth that night? What already? I mean, he looks I mean, pretty ready. Sure, but let me ah. get changed first. Ah, what happened? Then I'll see you there. I'm not gonna waste a single minute. Uh, okay. Do your thing. Do your thing, Junpei. Be happy. Be yourself. Don't let me pull you down. Oh no. Uh, got my sandals on. Giving my feet a chance to breathe. Yep, summer's here. Disgusting. There's nothing out there I can use as a marker. Too bad. I was hoping for a good swim. Hmm. Oh well. You must be joking. We come all the way to the beach and you're gonna train? Maybe he likes training. What's wrong with that? You got a better idea? Damn right I do. It's summertime at the beach. I've got the perfect activity. You seeing a floater? Peeping the girls? Oh no. Say hello to contestant number one, Yukari Takaba. As you can see, she's chosen a bold design, quite unexpected. It takes a lot of confidence to pull off a swimsuit like that. Uh, no. Is that umbrella taken? Get away from here, Fuka. You still have time. Next up is no. Number two, Fuka Yamagishi. No. Uh, Fuka. I had no idea you were so I mean Leave her alone. Leave her alone. Leave Fuka alone. No, don't even! Don't even there you go. Oh come on. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. You're pitching a fucking tent. It's fucking terrible. Stop that creepy laugh, you purge. Jesus, I thought I was bad. And here's our final contestant. Mitsu, the fucking hotness who's not actually wearing a fucking swimsuit at all. Never mind, she is. Just, I can barely fucking see it. Wow, Mitsura Senpai, you're beautiful. She is pretty beautiful. Yeah, your skin is flawless. Did you already put on sunscreen? She wants to rub it. No, not yet. Oh, there. Oh, let me, let me, let me. What is this? What is this thing, man? Where are you gonna what? No. So, which one's your type? Oh really? <laughs> Very interesting. Okay. Whatever you say. Man, this is great. I'm in heaven. Uh swim. Charge! This is this is not great holidays. This is not what I imagine a nice holiday. First of all, I don't like the beach. Anybody that knows me knows that. What? I feel uneasy. As if someone is watching you. Ugh. Yeah, he's feeling went away. Oh, okay. Well, 
Ooh. No, I guess it's all right. Like, what the fuck was that, Saki? Okay. There's no music? Wow, that's some shit. The hell? Everyone seems to be having fun, that's a good thing, I suppose. Our operations during the dark hour put a lot of stress on us. She relax a little and rest up. Oh, wow. Really? Wow, that's cool. You can save the game. What a laugh and a half. Alright, cool. Hmm. Isn't this place nice? I came here often when I was young, but I don't remember it looking quite like this. Yeah, I guess it's nice. Can we go to Tartarus now? Saki San Uh oh. You like it? You like that, huh? No one can resist splashing girls at the beach. I'm gonna splash more water on you. You hey, you're gonna pay for that. Take yeah, they're loving it. Thank you, Mitsuru Senpai. Thank you so much. I could have right now with no regrets. That's fucking disgusting. Oh, this is such a nice place. Why does stupid have to be here and spoil it all? I don't really agree. This is fucking killing my sight. Besides, what am I supposed to do here? Am I supposed to venture down that path, which is obviously where I have to go? Or maybe I'm supposed to venture down this path, which is also where I'm obviously supposed to go. Nothing here, just a shitty fucking thing. Down here, maybe I'm supposed to go down this way. Dude, where are you going? Never play alone at the beach. What? Seriously? Seriously? What am I supposed to do then? Enter the fucking sea, I guess? Give me a, give me a fucking break. I want to leave. You're leaving already? Yeah. No, oh, you suck. Well, I'm going to stay a little longer. Later, man. I don't, I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing. That's my point. He's smoking, so you know he's a bad man. I'm glad that you're in good health. He's smoking, so you know he's in bad health. Our guests are residents of the door, I presume. I'm sorry for bringing such a crowd. No, you're not. Don't be sorry for your life decisions. I heard you told them about the incident. Why did you hide it so long? I wasn't hiding it. I've told you time and again. None of the blame is yours. But... Two in harmony surpasses one in perfection. That has been our guiding principle since the Kurijo family separated from the Nanjo group. Nanjo. You oh. must learn to trust in others, Mitsuru. Where have I heard Nanjo before? There are things in this world that cannot be accomplished alone. No matter how many sacrifices you make. Yes, father. It's not just a, just a douchebag, after all. You accessed our database, didn't you? Got him. That's another thing. Why didn't you ask me directly instead of using this trip as an excuse? I'm... I'm sorry. Fucking... He's got her. He fucking Bring knows her. All of them. <laughs> I had no intention of concealing the truth from them. I've made preparations to disclose everything. Okay. There's a girl named Takaba in your group, correct? For her to awaken to her power, it must be fate. Father? Oh boy. It's one of those. One of those situations. Well, there goes our fucking holidays. Mitsuru has already given you the short version. Mm hmm Well, it's true. We adults are to blame. As always. If I could have atoned for it with my life, I would have done so. Now, I have no choice but to rely on you. What my father wanted to create with those monsters' power was a time manipulation device. What? That's what he was trying to do? Okay. Imagine, if you could control the flow of time, eliminate unwanted events before they occur. With such a device, you could shape the future to your liking. Okay. Okay. Damn, that's insane. 
Hence the dark hour happening. However, under my father's direction, the research began to stray from its original goal. Hmm. In his later years, my father seemed to have only nihilism in his heart. Now that I think about it, his madness may have resulted from his struggle to break free from that. It's only natural that you want to know the truth. And it's my duty to tell you. Okay. But first, the news. What's this? This is the only existing footage of the accident. Recorded by a scientist who was at the scene. Let's see. I pray that this recording reaches safe hands. That voice! Oh, no. My employer has become obsessed with a loathsome idea. And this experiment should have never even been conceived. I'm afraid what I've done will result in an unprecedented disaster. But if I hadn't, the entire world may have paid the price. The entire world? Please, listen carefully. The shadows that were amassed here have been dispersed as a result of the explosion. To end this nightmare, you must eliminate all of them. Okay, there you go. I am to blame for this. I knew the risks, but I was blinded by the promise of success. And so I didn't raise any objections. It is all my fault. That's Yukari's father, isn't it? Dad? Dad? Yep. Classic. You mean... That was... That was my uncle. Yeah, it was, of course it was my dad. Yes. Father. His name was Eiichiro Takaba. He was the head researcher at the time. A very talented man. Sounds like but it. We are the ones who are responsible. We pushed him to continue the research. The Kirijo group is to blame for his death. And there you go. I, I can't believe it. So that means my dad caused it all? Not exactly. The Dark Hour, Tartarus, the people who died in that incident? It was all his fault? Uh, you okay? Not exactly. Um. So that's why you were hiding this? Because you felt sorry for me? Is <sighs> that it? No, Takiba, I... I don't want your pity! My god. Ruined. Summer is fucking ruined. If this was Christmas, should it would be ruined. After her? Yeah, probably Saki should. Since he's, you know, kind of his best friend. Her best friend. Oh dear. Yep. Will you go? Of course, yep. Yeah. Sure. I'll go. Thank you. No problem. That's me. That's what I do. Is I basically am some sort of like social master. Oh my god. Late night. I'm gonna talk with her. I'm gonna fuck her. Hikari. Come on, girl. I believed in him for so long. Oh, this is too much. Come on, girl. Don't be like that. Remember what I told you at the hospital? Yep, yeah, I do, actually. When my dad died when I was little? Mm hmm You understand now, right? Yeah. He died in that incident. I have, I have put the pieces together a long time ago. Nobody knew the truth, so there were all sorts of rumors. Mm hmm Because he was in charge of the research team, people were really mean to me and my mom. We even had to move a few times. What did they do? Sorry. I'd rather not talk about it. Okay. Then don't bring it up. But all this time, I kept telling myself it wasn't his fault. Well, now it is. I loved him a lot. And I believed he'd never do anything wrong. We never really know everybody. I received a letter back in the spring. It was from him. Written ten years ago. <laughs> it cracked me up because even though it said to my family, it was pretty much all about me. That only made me believe in him more. When I found out I had a special power, I thought it was fate. I there was you go. scared. But I thought if I cooperated with the Kirijo group, 
I might find out what really happened. And now you know. That's why I agreed to fight using my persona. You achieved your goal. But it turns Aww. out all of that was for nothing. No, the truth is one of the most important things there is. If not the most important. Yeah, that's not true. <laughs> no, I'm not. Better. No, I'm not. Why does reality no, have to be I'm so not. harsh? Why do you have to be so close-minded? I tried so hard to fight my fear. And this is what I get. Your father started this and you have the chance to end it. See it as that. See it as redemption from within the family. Maybe I'm just jealous of Mitsuru Senpai. I mean, why my father and not hers? Would that make you feel better? I'm a horrible person, aren't I? Blame yourself. Huh. Well, you're just Mr. Perfect. Go fuck yourself! Nothing ever phases you. And now you've got the nerve to try and tell me how to feel? Listen! You think you know me? You don't know anything. Listen. That's enough. I had enough with Junpei. I'm sorry. Okay. He had some mess. I'm so afraid. I don't know what to do anymore. I'm totally lost. People tell fucking me. piss me off. What should I do? I'll tell you what to do if you fucking listen to me. Stay with us and fight! Huh? Huh? Of course! You know, you really are one of a kind. Are we fucking today or what? I'm sorry for acting like this. You've lost your parents too. Yes, I have. I'm alright now. I'm used to dealing with stressful situations. Obviously not. Anyway. Thanks for listening. You obviously not because you fucking you fucking made quite a ruckus right now. So uh, you're not. Let me guess. Senpai asked you to bring me back, right? I came because I wanted to. <gasps> Ooh, you're such a gentleman. <laughs> Thanks. Oh well, oh well. Look at this. Oh no, I goofed it, boys. Hey! Oh, oh, oh! Gee, what's taking you so long? Everybody's waiting. Uh, well, it's the dark hour. <sighs> so you should get back. I um. Huh? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Oops. Kind of forgot about that. Uh, <clears throat> hmm? Um. Did I miss something? No. Nothing at all. Uh, I almost forgot. It doesn't matter where you are when the dark hour comes. Yeah. That's true. Well, duh. Duh. You know, I've been thinking lately. Once you awaken to the power of Persona, you remember everything that happens during the dark hour. Okay. It's like trading away your innocence. In exchange for power, you can no longer look away from the things you don't want to see. So, I guess I'm stuck with you guys, huh? That's a peculiar conclusion to what you were going yeah. about. <laughs> now that that's settled, let's get back. Let's get back. You just fucking ruin my chances here, Junpei. Thanks a lot, Mr. Coke Blockmeister. Oh no, I'm being watched again. Oh. But it's okay, because the feeling went away. Oh my god, I just... No, never mind. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> what's the deal with that? What's the deal with that, Mr. Saki? He gets... Second day in Yakushima, in the morning... Fook is walking by herself. All the girls are walking by themselves. <sighs> the air is so fresh. Looks like it. I never thought a walk in the woods could be so enjoyable. You can't do this in Iwatodai. Because there's no fucking woods. Well played. What was that all about? Hey! Wow, oh, the air is so this. fresh. Oh, okay. Junpei was acting like such a pervert yesterday, and I didn't know how to react. Okay. It's probably a good thing we came out here by ourselves. Implying that Junpei's not here. 
Huh? Oh, yeah. Oh my god, what have I done to Yukari? What have I done to Yukari? Have I broken her? Yes, Mitsuru, the apparatus. Do we? Why are you here? Please continue. Well, I'm at the lab here on the island, and a machine that was considered inoperable suddenly left the facility on its own. Okay. A machine? What kind of machine is it? I need detailed information to locate anything other than shadows. Well, yeah, of course. It's a combat vehicle, an anti-shadow weapon to be precise. Huh. Interesting. A combat vehicle? You mean like a tank? Oh my god, yes. We're not currently with the others, so it might take some time for us all to assemble. Please bring that over here so we can destroy the fucking fanatic tower. Well, regardless, I want you to handle this as soon as possible. I'm on my way there now. Come on. If the target cannot be captured, do we have permission to destroy it? <laughs> I highly doubt you'll be able to destroy it. Oh dear. What? Then how are we supposed to stop it? Just do your best. I'll call you again later. What? What kind of fucking do your best? It's a fucking big Wait, ass tank. No one's answering. Do your best. Don't worry about it. Let's go back and get our equipment. God damn it. Then we can have Yamagishi's persona scan the area. Although this island is quite large. So what? It's not larger than Iwatorai. Oh, jeez. Jeez. Where be? My god. It's like Saki telling him, so like yesterday, I put like I put my arms around the girl. I know, incredible. This says we've gone to see the Joman Cedar tree. Okay. It looks like Fuka's handwriting. Oh man. Oh man. We're at an island resort in the middle of summer. Why don't they go to the beach? Because they want to do something else. That's just not right. Come on. Well, it is your fault. A little bit. What do you mean? Uh, I, I no, it doesn't lighten up anything. I don't want to hear it. There you go. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. We're on our own now. Just the guy. Yeah, sausage face. Ammo, you pick it up on the battlefield. That's one of the most basic military tactics. What? We'll call this Operation Babe Hunt. <sighs> Babe Hunt? You mean like pick up girls? What do you think, Akihiko-san? With you on the squad, we're guaranteed to succeed. I want to get out. What do you think about this? I... I don't care. You two want to let this opportunity to enjoy our summer vacation go to waste? Yes. Come on, guys, it'll be fun. We're gonna end up doing it anyway, so... But I'm appointing him our leader as usual. Oh! Destroyed. What? Why? Almost his cap almost flew off, so you he's gotta be careful about that. This is an operation. Be <laughs> oh, <man, that's> <laughs> You better take this seriously. It's an important operation. Wilco. I'm trying my best here. First thing I'm gonna do is save the fucking game. <laughs> 